Hello, I am Ms. Pradna Parmani, Assistant Professor, Department of Artificial Intelligence and Data Science of AISSS IoT Pune. Welcome all. Today, we are discussing parallel and distributed data processing and the techniques. So, what is parallel data processing? Parallel data processing is a method of computing where many calculations or processes are carried out simultaneously. It involves dividing a program into sub-programs or problem into sub-problems and then solving those problems simultaneously that we can say in parallel and then combining the result of solution to the sub-problem. So this type is used in high performance computing like in supercomputers where very large scale tasks like uh, climate modeling are processed quickly. So the techniques which are a type of parallel processing are as you can see here also in the diagram is SIST, SIMD, MIST, MIMD, SPMD, MBP. So that is single instruction, single data, single instruction, multiple data, single instruction, single, uh, sorry, multiple instruction, single data, multiple instruction, multiple data, single program, multiple data, and massively parallel processing. So all describe the different ways that instruction and data can be handled in parallel systems. Second we have is the distributed data processing. So distributed data processing is a model in which the processors in different locations which do not share memory collaborate to process data. So here the processors communicate with each other through network. The distribution systems can be located on the same physical network in single location or can be dispersed over a network of geographically dispersed locations. Distributed processing is used in many systems like internet, wireless communication networks, cloud computing services, etc. It allows for increased system reliability and performance. And it is it and it is used to build more robust and scalable systems. So the goal of uh, both these parallel and distributed processing is to process data more quickly and efficiently by using multiple processes. But the architecture and methods of processing are different for both. So today we are discussing about the first three techniques that is single instruction single data single instruction multiple data and multiple instruction single data so sist that is single instruction single data you can see this is first one so in sist system a single processor execute single instruction to operate on single data stream this is uh, like traditional sequential computers where instructions are processed in a sequential manner that is first next single instruction multiple data so you can see here so an uh, SIMD system 
is a multiprocessor machine which is capable of executing same instruction on all the CPUs but operating on different data streams. So this model can be considered or it is well suited to scientific computing because they involve a lot of vector and metric operations. And the next we have is the multiple instruction single data. This. So in case of MIST, it is a multiprocessor machine which is capable of executing different instructions on different processing elements. But they are operating on same data set. This model is of a theoretical interest since no practical system has constructed by this type of organization. So in the next, we are discussing the next three types. Thank you.